recovery positions. The use of recovery positions is a strategy when dealing with shortness of breath. These positions will help you to recover from your shortness of breath episode more quickly. The key components to an effective recovery position are, one, stabilizing your arms, two, leaning forward slightly, putting your diaphragm on slack so it works more effectively, and three, when possible, having a structure support you, such as a wall, a table, your walker, or even your hips. Stabilizing your arms allows you to use your upper chest muscles to breathe deeper. Once you've recovered, it's best to focus again on your diaphragmatic breathing. So now I'll show you a few different recovery positions. First one, finding a nice table, stabilizing your arm and leaning slightly forward. In this position, you're gonna use also your purse lip breathing, in through the nose and out through purse lips. This is a nice standing recovery position. Another position is if you're leaning up against a wall and you don't have a structure besides a wall around you, you can lean with your back firmly against the wall with your hands on your hips and the chest resting up against the wall. Again, assuming your, your purse lip breathing and then once you can, your diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, here's an example of a, another recovery position you can use in sitting. So if you're in an armchair, you can have your arms resting on the chair leaning slightly forward, putting your diaphragm on slack, and stabilizing the arms. You can initiate your purse lip breathing. If you have your walker in front of it, you, you could also use your, your rolling walker to stabilize your arms, leaning slightly forward. And lastly, in the sitting position, you could also, if you're not in an armchair, you can lean slightly forward, stabilizing your arms on your legs. So breathing in through the nose and slowly out through the purse lips. And again, once you're recovered, you can resume that diaphragmatic breathing.